Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday. I believe it's the 22nd of July. What does this thing say here? Yeah, 22nd of July. Um, lively day yesterday. Let's let's go through some things and, and uh, see where everything stands. We um, yeah, we were short dollar CAD long Kiwi um, yesterday, so that worked out. Dollar CAD down through the 200 day, which is at 135.11. Trade all the way down to 28, um, and now has been um, 40.60. Going into today, uh, this looks like it probably has some more legs. You can sell high ones today up towards that sort of 95. This little line here, um, if you get a chance, wouldn't chase it um, just because there's, there could be some risk off. We saw some very um, edgy price action in the NASDAQ there uh, yesterday hard to really um, hard to really lasso that Mustang but um, that was pretty worrying we're almost back at 11,000 now though so uh, who knows 10 eight ninety now in the Nazi euro uh, as we talked about on Twitter broke through the 115 barriers uh, Traded as high as 50 today, basically 47. A lot of clear air up here. The last year's highs were 92. Um, the next resistance comes in at 70. Probably worth a sell up there at 70 today. Uh, we're not going to fade it, but it's come a long, long way now. Pretty straight line. Um, but uh, that said, core long euro still the way this is a lot further to go um, so micro cells aside which is you know one one fifteen seventy is just a little micro tactical cell you want to try and be short dollars right this is the this is kind of the new trendy trade um, that's coming into play and you could argue that this move through 115 was kind of like the real beginning the birth of um, you know short dollar trade meaning just that euro's done nothing for let's go back to Euro for a second euro's done nothing for so long um, that you know we may get some legs here so if you just take the euro um, you know, we've basically been 112, um, 112, 116 with a little bit of time. We'll just call it 110, 114, this little 3% range, 3.5% range with a little bit of time below 110. Um, you know, it's been two years, so no reason we can't uh, add up to 122, 123 um, in my mind. Here's cable. Nobody likes to use this metric as a short dollar proxy, um, but if you take a step back and look at the value, at its long-term valuations, it's still super cheap. Um, Got to keep an eye on this this key little level. Uh, this is. 128.13.5 um, that's sort of the real key and we start getting clear air above that we haven't been trading cable much um, and it was quite choppy yesterday around 127 up and down and up and down see you know up to 16 down to 27 I mean that's quite hysterical right it's a 90 point down move on an up day uh, so quite hard to trade cable dollar yen we're obviously focused on 106 
um, this is a five star level we've now mysteriously put in these lows here down at 106 66 triple six um, Satan's friend could this be the the jump off point for a move uh, it's been super quiet dollar yen as everybody knows for the longest time I mean it's been basically since April 106 108 um, but we just gotta you know, just gotta keep your eye on it don't forget about it because it's a very interesting level elsewhere these emerging markets are really enjoying this uh, lower dollar uh, mentality thing I just print this uh, pull, pull this chart up 116.31 is the uh, sort of four month lows in dollar czar uh, we get super uncomfortable buying czar after appreciation like this so we were we will not be involved in this but um, this thing could get down to 115.50 where they where they we think there's really serious support but after moves like this we tend to look for turn bars um, South Africa is not in great shape their bonds are junk we've been through the metrics a million times um, happy to see them getting uh, their time in the sun here uh, doing well but I certainly don't trust uh, trust their currency to hold value uh, very long Aussie bang get the feeling uh, a few of our followers were, were long Aussie yesterday buying Aussie talking to you Sash I saw you happy to see that this worked out I don't know what to do with Aussie here I guess I mean just technically it looks like it can go go higher 7209 is the sort of next real resistance so um, this will be a reflection of risk if risk risk turns get out of the way Euro Aussie what a pain what a pain in the butt um, we're watching this one very, very closely because if we do get risk off, this is our horse. But we're not there yet. Aussie Yen, not much to say. Looks like we're going to take a peek at this um, 76, 80 level eventually. Um, but it's just a marker for, for the stock market. Kiwi. It's pretty straightforward yesterday through 90. Um, and then through the figure, we've traded up to 50. The next important high is um, 67.57. So as long as equities hold up, core long kiwi uh, looks okay. Gold's making a move. This is dollar weakness. Uh, nice move in gold. 1865 we're still not long um, we've just kind of given up on on gold as a as a metric um, gold futures are untradeable so we don't even we don't even bother but it's you know it, it helps us with the story and what's going on um, gold is telling us there's too much supply of dollars in the world and uh, confirming dollar negativity and then equities Weird day yesterday. Looks like a turn bar, uh, but who knows? Seventy-three and a quarter, the high. Didn't quite get down through that thirty-two, thirty-two area. We'll be selling down there. What we're looking for is a print, and then we'll use it as a pivot and getting short through that level. Uh, if we get back down there, looks fairly robust here at thirty-two sixty-one. Uh, no dog in this fight we're just watching but we shall see let's check out the NQ chart just cause that that's a fun one we're talking about Pennywise the clown from IT 
lurking up here at 11.060. Pretty heady downward action yesterday, but then steadied at the close and jumped about 30, 40 handles. Um, keep an eye on this. Is this going to be a double top? This will be your neckline and sort of the waterfall moment if it is. Uh, you don't want to front run this kind of position. You just want to be aware of it. Um, and there will be stops above that as well now uh, for those of the world who did front run it. So uh, 11060, very interesting position. All right, that's all I got. We're going to be watch. We're in watch mode um, here as far as new positions are concerned. Nothing really pressing for us at this moment. So we're just going to be quietly watching, see how the day progresses. The calendar is 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 very weak today. Um, nothing really of, of, of interest coming out. We have some CPI out of Canada, but nobody cares. Anyway, good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.